Hey friends, welcome back to another Chaos Fury review, again made possible by my friends at Rexy's Reviews. Took me a second to process that then. I have paid for these sets, but obviously they're quite hard to find in the UK, uh, so it's really important to me that you guys know where you can look for things like this. This set is the Kenji and Stiggy Moloch Defender Pack. Quite cool seeing the word Defender used, considering the Triceratops Defender we got before. Um, and this is the second version of Kenji in the Chaos Fury toy line. The other one is in an adventure set that comes with a motorbike, although that has not been seen beyond, I believe, Japan at present. So we're going to cut into this and get this Stiggy Moloch out of the packaging. Interesting to see another Stiggy using the larger sculpt that came in the Darius Adventure Pack. There we go, that is the Stiggy released from the packaging. And we will now get Kenji and all of the accessories that he comes with. And I have to admit this, the amount of accessories you get in this pack, really, really cool stuff. I'm really happy that Mattel found a way to re-release the medical box that came with Zia, just because I think that's a very cool accessory. Um, and there's a couple of other cool bits and pieces in here as well. So we will get everything out. We will get Kenji set up. Interesting piece of reuse on Kenji, which we will talk about when we come to it. So there is Kenji set up. And let's bring our camera in and take a closer look at these toys. And of course, as we've done with all of these reviews, we will start with a closer look at the Stiggy Moloch. This one coming in a red colour scheme that is more uh, emblematic of the one we know from Dominion, uh, or Fallen Kingdom even. You can see this is the larger Stiggy sculpt, so not as much articulation, forward and back, the tail, the arms go forward and back, but then the neck is on a bit of a weird joint where it kind of just looks all around and then up and down. Um, and this one, the joint feels slightly at an angle. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it does feel slightly off. Bringing that closer and letting it focus, you can see there is some really good paint, app on, uh, paint applications even on the face. You've got lots of paint for the sort of spikes around the head, the underjaw, the eye. Then the actual dome itself has got that nice texturing colour work that we expect from the Stiggy Moloch. So overall this is a cool release. Um, it's definitely an interesting time to get a new Stiggy because obviously we have the Hammond Collection version coming very soon. Excuse the camera knock just there. Um, so it does feel like an interesting time to get a new Stiggy but you know it's a decent enough version of Stiggy. I will get a couple of photos with this one, but it's not my favourite version of the Stiggy Moloch we've got to date. Now we'll take a look at Kenji first and then we'll finish with his accessories. So Kenji comes in the green jacket that he's seen wearing throughout the show. You can see we've got the much older head sculpt for Kenji. This one I think actually looks pretty spot on. I feel like that is pretty much there. And this cool sort of hooded jacket, so you can see we've got the hood on the back. I actually wonder if this is a reuse. No, it's not a reuse from Ben because Ben's jacket is removable. Um, but yeah, so cool looking figure, very slender profile. Interestingly, the jeans here are textured and I initially thought they might be a reuse from Owen, but they're not because the feet do not have the boots that Owen wears. So it's possible that these upper legs are a reuse, although I don't think they are if I actually get them on camera. I don't think they are a reuse, so that's quite interesting just there. The only issue I have with this figure is you can see inside the hands, just there, there is green paint exposed where it's sculpted in green, which is slightly unfortunate. Uh, because it's green, it's quite a bright colour, so it's quite noticeable. But apart from that, Kenji is a very welcome addition to the crew, and that now means we have four of the new Nublar 6 already, which is very cool. Now Kenji comes with some accessories. 
This is the aforementioned crate that I was raving about. I really like the medical decoration they've done on this one. It's only on one side, but that looks great. And you can see when we open it up, like with before, there are the blood bags in there. And the idea is that this can attach to a dinosaur, but equally you can take it, you can fold it up inside, and we should be able to shut the case near enough. If we just push that in a bit, there we go. You can pretty much shut the case up and just have it as a medical case. And then when you want to use it, you thread the little cable through there and you're good to go. So that is a very cool accessory to have again. Very glad to see that. We do get this, which is the bandage cast from the Hammond collection, uh, actual juvenile Tyrannosaurus. So it's cool seeing Mattel reusing that. And the intention for this piece is for it to go on the kind of leg of the Stiggy Moloch. So it fits quite nicely, actually. I think in many ways it fits better than on the Juvenile Rex. There we go. And you can see that just gives us another extra play dynamic with this figure. If we have it with the medical box, then you can do some cool stuff there. So I do like that. I think that's a very cool inclusion. The one accessory I'm not a fan of is the inclusion of the dart rifle here. Now the dart rifle is in a very bright blue plastic. It's an incredibly accurate sculpt, but my issue is we've received one before, as you can see just here, in the Ben pack that is much more accurate. So this has got two different colour paint applications, and I wish that we had got some grey on the barrel, some grey on the back and the scope, like on this version, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. I understand that there's a lot of accessories in this pack, so they probably didn't have the paint budget, but it would have been cool, in my opinion, to see that. But with all of that said, if we bring these guys back together, that is pretty much the Darius and Stiggy Moloch pack. Another fantastic story pack in my opinion. I think this wave of free story packs has been incredibly strong and I think it's a huge shame that Mattel for whatever reason didn't get the distribution right this time around because I think a lot of fans would welcome adding these to their collection. So if you see these in the wild, if you spot them somewhere, don't sleep on them, pick them up while you can because it's an awesome set of human and dinosaur characters and is definitely a set of figures that you're going to miss from your collection if you don't pick them up. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always guys, like, favourite and subscribe and until the next one, take care and have a great week.